last night, stayed up, couldn't sleep, so I crawled back out of the tent and lit the fire up and grabbed myself some jerky and a couple of bobbly pops and uh, came out and started to lay out a field. I worked out where our edge was, just here. Put some um, landscaping down. So we're going to focus on clearing out these trees all the way to the edge of our property. Make this field go all the way up. And then eventually, we'll probably bring the field across a little bit more. Maybe sort of like here. Back to the silo. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're getting there. We've got to clear a few more trees. I haven't laid anything down yet because we're going to have to get... Um, a rock picker or a roller. They're not really big rock, so we might just roll it if it's cheaper. Um, how much are we looking for? Uh, we can get that little cheap lizard roller for 1500 bucks. You know, that'd get us out of trouble. Compared to stone pickers for 25000 So, I do want to collect as many stones as we can. Just for the fact that uh, we want to go gold production. You know, get that in there and... See if we can make some gold, but for now, I think we're just going to roll that in. Chop some more trees down, and uh, probably even look at just giving this paddock a mow. Clean it all up, throw it into the silo, and get one of them silo silage things. Uh, what are they? The silage silos, the ones that just produce it. So, there is a few different ones we can probably get. Um... I haven't really downloaded any except for I've got these ones here. Pallet storage, pallet storage, pallet, they're all pallet storage. Then we've got these silos here. Probably grab that, you know, one for 60,000. Fill it up with grass and that's just, you know, it'll turn itself over. We do have the extra income now coming in from the um these greenhouses so I'm not sure how much that'll be there today but between that and getting all this mode I think we'll make some coin but I'm, I'm just going to seed this with grass just for the fact that we don't have any machinery yet um easy enough just to mow it you know we can get a little forage wagon or something and just pick all that up and throw it straight back in the silo so get more yield and um yeah that's it I'm going to go and finish my coffee and then we'll get on with the day. Back with you soon. Alright, so let's grab our first lot of lettuce. Brussels sprouts, as my kids call them. Because they're so small. Oh, we've got a log on the back still. See that there? I'm only on Xbox, but you can lift up these pallets. You can't lift up the big, big ones, but these ones you can, so... For now, we're, we're fine with that. We're lucky. Um, but unfortunately, we are going to have to look at getting a bigger tractor or a telehandler or something. I was actually going to buy something like that first, but instead I bought the silo. For the silage, I will show you that in a second. The, the boys over in the lumber shop said they've got a Forage harvester, just a little one we can borrow. So that is going to be handy. I told them, you know, once we make some cash, if they, if it's no longer needed by them, we could probably purchase it. They said for now they'd rather keep it um, and just us use it as needed. So hopefully, after the first couple of times that we get some silage, we can buy ourselves a new one. Or we'll just keep an eye on the second hand market and see if anything pops up there. They're going to let us know if anything pops up and we'll be good to go. So, obviously with this tractor we can't take a, a big, big, you know, 160,000 litre one on because it just won't run it. But we'll just keep an eye out. Alright, so we've got these ones here. So there's a silage silo there. You just drop your grass in. And it turns it into silage after a month, so... 
for now we don't need to have any big equipment to, to compact it or to move it we can just tip it straight in um, and we'll see how well that goes for us it's more money we can earn and depending on how much grass we can get in there that should be a pretty decent earner I'm not sure what the price of silage is here but for now it's better having the greenhouses the silage everything going at once um, but it's going to help us generate more cash I'm not sure that's not letting me push it but anyway because the logs tied down my bad but we will get this on and load it one more to go that eight pallets not too bad for the first go we probably could have put it in a little bit earlier and then we would have had more but money's money I ain't complaining Oh, except for when that falls off. Alright, so we'll strap these down. Take them around here and see what we can get for them. We did pick up a lawnmower attachment for the front the other day too. $5,000 on the on the used market. Oh, that must be the forage harvester we can borrow. She's, she's a tiny little thing. How can we sell this stuff? Fun. Wow, that weight on the back makes a big difference trying to get nothing on the front. Oh, looks like I'm not the first one to do that with all the chunks taken out of the side of that wall. Could have been a bit of drama here. cool that's all selling off twelve and a half thousand dollars for that ain't too bad money we didn't have earlier so that's a win we'll get back around to camp and Think we got up for next so I think we've got all the stumps cleared so we should fingers crossed we'll see how that goes it's got a little bit more use on it than I was expecting it is used that's not cool <laughs> then cost us five grand I think they're like 25 normally so we'll hook up to this forage wagon and we'll see if that's going to work for us And then what we can do is whatever we get we just pick up throw straight into that silo turn it on i think you can put chaff straw or chaff hay and grass so let's uh let's give her a test run turn on the wagon lower the pickup unfold turn it on oh i think we're running yeah, we're getting grass, that's the thing. We don't have a silage tank or anything on the front of this. She's just all, well, that's how it is. We're lucky it's actually running it, so. I'll just do a run up this side here until we run out of land, and then um, might throw in a bit of a time lapse. But yeah, once we get a field sorted out, it's going to be a lot easier. Just, you know, put an AI worker in there if we have to. I'm surprised the tractor's actually doing it. I didn't think she was going to handle it. But it's also going to be good because we're going to know where our land starts and finishes. And um, yeah, I mean, this is once we make back five grand at the moment, this is free. So it won't take many trailers to make that five grand back. We'll finish this run down here so we got doubled up and. Um, show you how this uh, how we drop it off get rid 
these wildflowers. Not bad, 50% full by the time we get down there or close to it, so you know, can't complain, can't complain. Okay, 55% will just spin around here. Don't take the turns too tight, otherwise we'll lose it all. Like that stuff there. A little bummer, but we'll get it later if we need it. come up here basically unload it into the tube I think it'll hold about 400,000 of each crop or product that you put in there so and obviously you get it out from under the spout here So yeah, you got ch chafe, hay and grass. We've got 9,000 litres of grass in there at the moment. So we'll activate that and let it do its thing. Alright, we might organise a bit of a time lapse or something here so it's not so boring, but we'll get back to you very shortly.
26 bucks is not bad at all. Almost got, oh, not almost, got most of the field done. I think we're up to about 160,000 litres of uh, grass in the silo, so that's that should be good. Got a lot done, so there's a tiny little bit up there left, and there's a bit over here that will get sorted. too fussed about going around all the trees and stuff because it'll be a bit hard to pick all that up. Thought you might want to pop in and see the fuel fill up. Yeah, slowly but surely getting it done. Next time I come around I'll lower down the lights because they get caught on the tree for some reason. Yeah, we're getting it done. Not much left, and then we might try and get a... Got to get some cash, so I might have to chop down some trees and... Get some cash in the bank. We've only got 25 grand left. I don't know, that's not going to be enough to buy a roller, I don't think. Um, I'd always get a loan. Get a rock picker, I guess. I've got a bit of money coming in from other things. Um, Probably going to be fifteen or twenty thousand dollars worth of silage ready tomorrow. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. I guess there might even be some silage ready now that we could sell. Not even waste two thousand liters. So maybe by the end of the day we can drop some of that out, get some cash. But definitely got to get this field planted. But I'll get the rest of this done. And um, we'll be back at you soon. Alrighty, so that's the last load of grass for the silo. We can empty this out over here. Finally. Two hundred and twenty thousand liters off that, so it'll be interesting to compare that to our field when we do the field next. back over here for the boys down the back leave that there so they can use it if they need to I did find two stumps that I'd missed so we'll go and remove those and maybe we'll bring this Filled out a couple more rows, I'm not sure. Wrong one. That thing weighs a ton. Glad I've got the weight on the back. Where did we leave our... We might be up here. Mulcher machine. Little doohickey. Them lights make a huge difference. So we'll grab these stumps out. One just here and then one to the right of it somewhere. There it is, they're both there. Okay, got it. Put this back over here because we're going to need it up here shortly. Ah, 
Oh, I'm doing. We'll go and grab our trailer. I, I wouldn't mind trying to get a better trailer soon too. Shame I can't put forks on the front of this thing. Would be super handy to get a decent log trailer and start getting some bigger, bigger bits and pieces in. I didn't worry so much about doing the grass around there. We'll, might have to get a hand mower or something in there, or something with a bit more of a mulching capabilities, because it's a bit of a hard thing to run around through there with a the forage wagon. I wonder if you can lay a tree down into the trailer. Is that a thing? Not too sure. Let's try it. A bit bigger than the trailer though. At least the heavier end will be on the trailer, right? Chop off a little bit at the end. Holy crap. But it worked. Can't really let me clear off the tree that well, but. How big it can be for me to carry. Too heavy. That's not bad. That's um yeah, we'll stack it in here. I mean we're gonna have to put more trees on, but this is just a bit of a tester. I've noticed that when you if say I've got this log here, I can't move that normally, but when I've got a log in my hand, see, you can move them. So just move that in so I've got more room. Bit of a hint or tip if anyone's on Xbox and doesn't have super strength. If you are carrying another log, you can move a bigger log by pushing it. down quickly and then we'll go and try and find another one maybe we'll park it next to this one and <laughs> see if we get lucky a second time <laughs> so i know the longer the bits of wood and the more prepared prepped and clean it is it is more cash so maybe we'll try this one over here near the field much cash we can get ourselves. And then once I've done this I'll we'll do something else so it's not boring and too similar for people. Repetitive I bet I guess the word would be. So 
Probably gonna fall off, I'd say. I don't think it's the right angle. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> Just wonder if we can chop a piece off the end here, if we can use it to push it back on. I don't think so, but. Let's try. Ah, the whole thing just fell off. Ah well, lesson learned. <laughs> Good while it lasted. That'd be the biggest, heaviest tree that's here too, like it's huge. Would have been good to try and get that on there. It is what it is. So we need a telly hand or a tractor, loader. Actually, while we're here, we should check to see what's on the market today. Nothing. Nothing for us. Well, I'll keep chopping this up and see where we get to, I guess. See how we go with this one. We, we back the trailer up to a couple of trees and reverse it onto the under, underneath it so the tree could fall on it. That's how we got a couple of big longer ones. Be interesting to see. We normally get about five or six grand for three, so what are we going to get? Uh, about a thousand, eighteen hundred dollars more, but it's still better than nothing. Back up to thirty-one thousand, which is super handy. Money's money. That's the main thing. Poor old tractor's working hard, I tell you. Hasn't missed a beat besides having to get some diesel, which we've already used a fair bit of already. Wow. Let's see if we can pull it off again. We'll drop a tree down on the trailer. out of the way so we don't squash the tractor which is a big one hopefully it stays on oh no she's on an angle oh, you bugger <laughs> when I drop them I should run straight to it and get a strap on them this thing's huge. Oh, well, that's the moment. Need about a hundred grand to get a telehandler. Um, coming super handy. That's a huge one, yeah, that would have. Would have been wicked to get that on there. What if we chop it like here? We still have that mobile sawmill because we could probably bring that up for this. We'll have it or do we get rid of it? I can't remember. Oh, we can just buy another one. 
any cap on their backs. Uh, what was it? Soul points? Okay. It's already paid for itself. Look at that. Six grand, one tree. What's the price per liters for that? Wood. See, the mobile wood sell point's actually less than the sawmill. So it does make a big difference if you've got the full size length. That's interesting. One behind our field, yep. Yeah, that makes life a little bit better, but I mean, we're losing so much money. We got six grand for a whole trailer load before. And then you get six grand for a tree when it's cut up into proper lengths, like it's just... We're doing ourselves out of some serious money. And now that this map's had um, the update, they've actually thinned out the trees from 11,000 to 7,000. Which is still a lot, but you don't want to be sitting here doing trees all day, every day. At the same time, you don't want to be wasting them and, and getting half of what they're worth because you've got to chop them up so small. which is about trailer length. This tree is obviously a lot thinner too. Look at that. All five grand. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Like I said, we need, need to get a hundred grand. We got I think we'd be able to pick one up second hand, but nothing's come up yet. I wouldn't mind trying to get that class one. Or the JCB, they're like seven ton, the class one's eight ton. I think you can put weights on the back of some of these anyway, but you'd, you'd sort of, if we could pick up that thing for like 40 grand or 50 grand on sale, you'd be laughing. Get the um the big bag attachment for it, you know. On to a winner. All right, we'll get some more of these done and get back to you. All right, so we have enough cash now to grab ourselves a telly handler. So I think we're just going to grab. It's 7.8, 8.3. I think I'm just going to grab the class. Um, pretty sure it can pull a trailer and stuff behind it too if we put a little attachment on the back. It's got a hitch on there anyway, so that might work. We will. Set this up as my plate. And as that's the first bit of machinery that we're buying. And Lewis saying none. Why is that not working? I pressed the wrong button. That maybe you can't have one. Pretty sure that's going to do us fine. Alright, so let's grab that. And we will grab... We'll 
Grab that for the telly handler. Try and match it a little bit with the machine. We're leaving ourselves a lot of cash, but hopefully we can put a hitch on that. If not, um, have that thing on the front of the tractor that we could use as well. Don't go away from that. No. This is now hopefully going to allow us to take some bigger stuff. Probably should have bought this before I bought the silage silo, but um, I think definitely need it. I was going to get another tractor, but then, yeah, I'm going to spend more money on something that's not as good. This is pretty versatile. If we can use it to pull the trailer, we might be able to use this to roll the fields and things like that as well. Um, looking at a tractor that we would have been able to do something or similar with. And none of these are going to be not, nowhere near as heavy. And then they're going to be more money. But having a telescopic on this is going to be handy. We can use it to pick up things over the top of things. We can use it for doing pallets and production and um, put a weight on it later on and off we go. So I was hoping that one will pop, I mean one will pop up in the sale menu now I guarantee it. Tomorrow or the next day there'll be one of these for sale for $45,000. You never know. If that happens and we get 80 grand back for this, we'll sell it and get the other one, but uh, it's a gamble, obviously. But it's one of them things that we need, and it's got to be done, so. We'll have this bridge and down the back, and we'll start clearing out some more. Get our cash back up a little bit, and um, down that field. I'm gonna need a cedar for that, but once again I'd love to put in some wheat or barley or something, but we don't have the money for the machinery. We don't have the fertilizer, we don't have any so this is what we have. a lot faster than our tractor. That's going to make a hell of a difference as well. I think there were some forks down here when we started as well, so I'm not sure if they're for a tractor or this thing, but we need them. We can obviously try and find them or we can go and get a log fork, whatever they're called as well, but We've cleared out a whole heap. We, I, don't know, I don't even know how many trees we've done today. Where do you find that? I think that the other day. Trees cut down. There you go. 57 in total. So we're getting there. It's not too bad. Slowly, slowly. We've done 25 kilometers today. Use 41 litres of fuel, that's pretty cool, showing all that stuff. Harvested 10 acres, so that must be the grass, I guess. But yeah, now we've got something that we can do that with. We can clean up, tidy up, and then make a huge difference. So, our barrier is just here. It only goes up to just through here, so there's not a whole lot of many trees left to clear on this part of the land. And then we can run this all the way up, turn that into grass, and I'd say just that small plot. We'd probably get more grass off that than we would have just doing it all that's non-fertilized and bits and pieces of it, so. We'll get back to getting some more trees down. And um shouldn't be too long and we should be extending this field out, hopefully. Looks like a nice chunk. 
3.9 ton for the whole tree. Half the weight of the chili handler. <laughs> But I think the next thing we'll do is we'll probably try and get ourselves a bit more of a log specific trailer so we can stack more on, stack them higher. That'll make life a little bit better as well. I won't go rolling off the sides. I think that was what I was seeing the other day. Yeah. I don't know, 10 grand or 11 grand I think. I haven't downloaded a whole lot of mods. I'm on the Xbox, so we're limited as well, but. Oh, is it forestry, maybe? Oh, that one there, 3,800 bucks. I might actually just grab that now. Chunky looking tires. We'll do our green. Buy that. Doesn't leave us much cash, but what I'll do is I'll send. I might leave this hook down here. This thing can go up and grab it, and we'll see if it works with the hitch. Looks like it's a usable hitch, I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out. But I do know there is the. This hitch in miscellaneous. You got the front hydraulic and I think there's a rear one. Or you can just use them both the same. Or there's that trailed lifter as well. But this is the thing I've got on the front of the tractor. And it allows you to do more stuff, so we'll have to wait and see how that goes, but yeah, there's always an option. If it doesn't work, we'll have to send the trailer the tractor up there. So. We'll pop back once we've got this sorted out. We've got our trailer. Pretty snazzy. And you can actually join more onto the back too, so... I mean, I think if we can get four or five trees on this trailer, it's definitely going to be worth the trip to the train yard. Um, if we can make decent cash, because I think the train yard has a whole lot better prices. The train yard, look at that, 4300 bucks. It's like 1300 more than anywhere else, basically. So, that's that's where we're going to be heading with the bigger loads. I'm actually wondering, does that flat deck trailer fit on the back of it too? I don't think it will, but if it does, oh, it's going to be hard reversing this trailer. I don't think you can... I don't think I can lock the hitch. If I could reverse it and um, get it to line up, it'd be cool if we could take up both trailers in one load. Way off. far there. Yeah, this is painful. I'm pretty sure on PC you can lock these axles. Holy crap, it does lock in. Well that could be um that could be handy. 
Alright, so what we'll do is I think we'll grab a few trees. We will load up the uh, front trailer first. And then if we can, maybe throw a couple of trees on the back trailer. I mean, it's not ideal, but it works, right? I don't mind if we only take up one trailer first. It'll be um, good as a test to see what we can get up at the train station compared to here. More the merrier. Over the next few days we should make some pretty good cash. We've got the silo over there making silage for us. We've got the greenhouses chugging out some cash and once we get this field seeded we'll have that all of um, high yield grass or as high as we can get it. So we're going to start having some daily income from the silage and the greenhouses and hopefully that'll help us get some animals. Thinking maybe some chickens, some cows. See if we can step this out a bit. One, two, three, four, five. What we'll do is we'll cut that there. And we will grab it with this. Just see if that's going to fit the trailer length. And then moving forward, we'll go, okay, yep, five steps. Try and get this in the middle. Not really. I usually use log forks, but. Oh, that's not too bad. That's really going to be too long for our trailer. Very long, maybe four steps will be better. Hmm. I don't really want to go too far forward because it's going to hit the back of the vehicle. too much probably I think four steps is going to be our number four steps the downside is if I try and pick this up here it's probably going to lift up that trailer I'm thinking if we Grab that, maybe cut it here. Some pretty chunky wood, so... there. This trailer isn't as big as I was thinking it was. Unfortunately. So yeah, maybe I need two logs on there. Two trees. Let's see how we go, but We'll cut some more of this up, get some more trees up there, and come back to you. Alright, so that's going to be... going to be us calling it a day today. Organised a fair bit of stuff. We've got 26 grand in the bank. Greenhouses going, we've got the trailers. 20 grand to load over at the train station, so... It's time for me to hit the hay.
anyway that's us thanks for watching if you like what you see give us a like and a subscribe and don't forget to check the uh the description of the discord link and any questions any dramas give us the other messages have a great day keep safe and we'll see you soon